Hello once again. We are going to continue with the application of uh, integration in physics. We are going to see further application of integration. So integration has a wide range of application. We can apply integration in physics, in chemistry, in biology, in economics, everywhere. So, but in this video, we are going to see the application of integration in physics. So the work done by a variable force is given by this formula. The work is equal to the integral from A to B F X dx. Here we are dealing with the force which is not a constant, the force that will change over time. In Senior 3, they told you that the work done by a constant force is equal to the force times distance. But here, when you have the force that is changing, over time, so you use this formula. Here we have some examples. A, a spring has a natural length of 1 meter, a force of 25 newtons stretches the spring by uh, a quarter of a meter. Determine how much work is done by stretching the spring. Subquestion A 2 meter beyond its natural length. Subquestion B from a length of 1.5 meters to 2.5 meters. Let's see how we can do these examples. So we are going to do uh, these examples. So the force in the spring is equal to the spring constant k times x. Those ones of physics major, you know this formula. You know this law is known as Hooker's law. But uh, even those of MCBs, don't worry. We are going to see how uh, to do this equation. So here k is spring constant. So we have force which is equal to 25 newton and x which is equal to 1 over 4. So we can use this data to, uh, to write uh, uh, force as a function of x. So 25 is equal to 1 over 4 times k so k is equal to 100 so the force as a function of x will be 100 x and the, we are going to answer the subquestion a the work done is equal to the integral from 0 to 2 because they said beyond 2 meters beyond its natural length so uh, then 100 newton 100 newton per meter then so the force in the spring is equal to k times x where k is the spring constant k is spring constant So this, uh, we, we are going to use the Hooker's law. So we are going to write the force as a function of x. So 25 newton is equal to k times 1 over 4. So k is equal to 100. So which means that our force will be equal to 100 times x. Then the work done is equal to the integral from 0 to 2 times 100 x then dx work done will be equal to 100 then x squared over 2 then from 0 to 2 the work done will be equal to 100 then 4 minus over 2 minus 0 which is equal to uh, 200 joules so the work will be equal to 200 joules this is the answer for subquestion a for some question B, here we need to pay attention to the boundaries. If the spring is not stretched, no matter what its length is, the lower boundary must be zero. If the spring is stretched to a certain length, then we need to subtract the natural length from the value to obtain the lower and the upper limit of integration. For this question, remember they said that 
the spring was stretched from 1.5 meter to 2.5 meters so the natural length was uh, 1 meter so which means uh, to have the lower limit we take 1.5 minus 1 we get 0.5 this one and the upper limit will take 2.5 minus 1 to get 1.5 and the work done will be the integral from 0 0.5 to 1.5 100 x then the x which will be 50 x squared over 2 from 0 0.5 to 1.5 which will end up giving us 100 joules this is the final answer we are going to continue with application of integration in motion problem. Remember the dx dt, the rate of change of the, the distance is equal to the velocity, which means if you need dx, you will take velocity times dt. dt. Applying integral on both sides, then x will be the integral of velocity this will be the distance traveled if you want you can also find the relationship between velocity and acceleration remember that the dv dt is equal to acceleration so dv is equal to acceleration as a function of time times the dt so applying integral on both sides the velocity will be equal to the integral of acceleration. If you will be given a situation where they ask you to find velocity, you integrate acceleration. When you will be given a question where they ask you to find the distance, you integrate the velocity. Let's do an example. The velocity of a body t second after certain instant is given by vt is equal to 2t squared plus 5 meter per second. How far does it travel in the first 4 seconds of the motion? So here we have x is equal to the integral of velocity. And the velocity is equal to t squared plus 5 which means that the, the, the distance is equal to integral they said in the first four seconds of the motion which means you start from 0 to 4 then 2t squared plus 5 then dt the distance will be equal to uh, 2t power 3 over 3 plus 5t then from 0 to 2 the distance will be equal to 2 times 64 over 3 plus 20 the distance before 2 128 over 3 plus 20 LCM will give us uh, the distance which will be equal to 188 over 3 meters so this is the distance covered in the first 4 seconds of the motion